Hello and welcome to Puzzling Happiness. I'm Vesna and today I'm going to participate in the second battle of the YouTube puzzlers. And I have participated also in the first one, so I will link the video in the description. So Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers is basically a speed contest between YouTube puzzlers um, for the love of puzzles, Janet and her puzzles, um, Jigsaw Tubi, Addicted to Puzzles, Wikimakes and Builds, and Puzzles in Two Worlds. But also others can participate, so you don't need to film your performance, you can just time yourself doing this puzzle and fill out the form. I will link it in the description as well. Then you can participate as well and then we will see the ultimate winner sometime in July, I think it was. But I will link the announcement video in the description so you can see yourself what Donna Louise over at For the Love of Puzzles is telling you about this. The puzzle that we had last time was 500 pieces, but this one is 750. And I am quite nervous because I have never done a puzzle that size before. And I do 1000 piece puzzles really slowly. Like I think my fastest time was seven hours. So I'm quite terrified. Like what if this takes me six, or five hours. My second concern is that this has quite many flowers and in fact it has nothing else than flowers and I don't get along that well with flowers, at least with those that don't grow themselves. So again I'm quite nervous. And my third concern is the piece shape. Um, this is a shaped puzzle, so the pieces can be weirdly shaped. And actually I can see the piece shapes here on the cover. So that was quite surprising. So you, you basically have the solution right before your eyes. But I have tried not to look at these piece shapes too much because that feels like cheating. But um, yeah, I'm quite interested if it will help the process or if it will be more difficult. So yeah, I am quite nervous, but I'm so excited. It's been too long since I have participated in any kind of speed puzzling contest and I'm so ready. So let's start. Okay, so I started just by flipping all the pieces, but I was really surprised how many pieces were still together. You can see those on the left. I didn't take them apart, I was just really happy for some extra help. After flipping, I took all the yellow and orange pieces, and that was a good choice, because those flowers were quite easy and there were not many of them. Then I looked at the box for the first time and placed the flowers approximately on the right spots. Here I am trying to find a place for every piece, which is a bit silly. Green pieces were next and those were very nice to do as well. Instead of the box, I started to look at the small and handy leaflet that was included, because I was able to have it at a suitable angle. Then I tried to do some pink pieces, but that didn't get me anywhere. So I started to do all those middle parts of different flowers. At first I thought this is ingenious, but then I just couldn't continue the flowers outwards. So I went back to the pink pieces and this time I made some progress. Then I took all the blue pieces because then it was a little bit easier to find the right shade of blue for the pansy flowers. I used all the rest of the time to do those certain flowers that were not my favorite, and I felt that there were way too many of those flowers. The worst of those certain flowers were the two dark blue flowers. I wished I wouldn't have to do them, but I guess you don't have much other choice in a speed puzzling contest. 
here I make a smart move and rotate the puzzle because otherwise it would have been nearly impossible to complete the puzzle. It took me 20 minutes just to do those two dark blue flowers. Oh yay, I did it! Woohoo! <laughs> Whoops. I really loved this puzzle, but I'm a bit disappointed in my time. Um, so my time was 5 hours, 46 minutes and 16.4 seconds. And I was hoping more like maybe 5 or 4 hours, but it's fine, it's fine, uh, because this was a bit tricky and yeah, flowers, need I say more. But I really loved the piece quality. Uh, it reminded me of Lion by Graphics that I did on this channel and I liked it very much. And yeah, so these pieces are also very thick and the pieces were nice and they helped me so many times they were so helpful i would have had much more difficult time with this if these pieces were like all regular shapes so pieces were very good and also of course the image is really beautiful and the flowers are always nice except when you're puzzling yeah, but that's only my opinion. I actually had one unplanned break because my camera just um, fell. So I had to readjust it. And of course, I forgot to stop my timer. But that's fine. It was only a few minutes. But I used this to my advantage because I snatched my <laughs> doping candy. This is Backyard Crazy Toads uh, from Lidl and these are super good and they're like salty licorice and fruit and really hard candies and I don't know, it just makes my brain function better. So <laughs> those were really helpful. And yes, I am aware that you are allowed to take breaks but I had prepared not to take any breaks. I don't know. I just like to do things on one sitting. But yeah, I kind of feel like I have been sitting here for almost six hours. So yeah, maybe I will go outside next. Well, are you going to participate in this battle of the YouTube puzzlers? I really hope that you will. And I will put a link to that uh, form so that you can fill it out and participate in this contest. So yeah, this was my performance and I will link the playlist to the videos of the organizers so that you can see how they did. Probably much better than I did. Thank you so much for watching and happy bustling. Bye bye. And because I am who I am, I was curious to see if my time would improve on the second time. This time I sorted all those colors I knew I would do first, but it didn't slow me down much because here I am, almost exactly at the same spot with my past self. However, I am very amazed how much quicker I was able to connect different flowers. My puzzling experience itself wasn't much different from the first time, so I was just as confused with the same flowers as before. But one thing was clearly different. I respected my time achievement much more, and I was wondering how on earth was I able to do this on almost one sitting, because this time I did it on two separate days. I had assumed I would be a lot faster on the second time, like at least one hour faster, but in the reality I was only 18 minutes faster and I am very happy with that.